Thank you. Jaguar plugs online, they're laser. Now that's not five bucks, that's a hundred and, it was 1910 that they is on it. At Google's at $65, I'm asking 30 on that. The quilt is $5. I don't finish, I'm gonna get uh, You wanna give it the whole thing to have 10k? No, no, he's way over my head. That's it, look at this one. That's the top, you don't see this one. The wooden one. That's the one, hey, look. That's the old one. You can look them up online, they're expensive, huh? See this one? Yeah. Yeah. And I got two, uh, he was asking six hundred dollars for five or six tackle boxes of these lures. And I have a fishing wheel too. I have them in the table. Do you uh, sell them individual, or you no, sell them the whole box? I, I, I used to do it with him, but no more because the been uh, people losing money like that. Pick up whatever they want and deliver the junk. You know, they're gonna work that way. I'll just sell cool piece that's the old dentist drill the foot pedal you paddled it and it drilled your teeth he wanted 75 for it Something on there. I have 210. I'll go all the way down to 150. See that lure right there? They think it's antique. That's, that ain't antique. It's, it's pretty good. need to have glass eyes. Well, uh, you know, they put glass eyes on them up into the 60s. Is that right? Yeah, people, people think because they got glass eyes, they're old. But that is pretty it, old from the 60s. It, the thing about it, it's in the eyes of the beholder. You know? <laughs> How doing, Mr. Law? Hey, buddy. How, <laughs> How are you? Doing? Good. How you doing today? Not too bad. Yeah. How about yourself? Good. How much are your tar cups? Ten. They in good condition. Fresh from the woods. Fresh from the woods. That's where you found them. How about that? More stuff. Some smashed stuff. How much is the bell? 150. 150. It got a, it's got a name on it. They're in the independence. What is that? Oh. What do you call it? Call it Gibson Girl. Gibson Girl. Yeah. Never heard of it.
How much is this buckle? I'll do 15 on that. How much was that? Five dollars. Five. 20. 20 for this? Yeah. Do you know what year model that fits in? Not off the top of my head, I didn't sell it. I'm wondering if it was a... I don't know if they... I'm gonna buy them two there. Pop with the three legs. Um, I'll do 50 on that. 50 is pretty cool there. Yeah, it is actually a really neat one, especially with the handle on the top. Yeah. Everything is, you know, it's sized, which is nice. Yes, it is. I'll tell you what, if you're interested, I'll do 40. It's 40? It's out and that's, it's really Let me better. go over and look at it again. Yeah, go right ahead. I'll do 15 on that. Hands are cold. I'm cold. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. The wind wouldn't blow. It wouldn't be so bad. Well, I'm trying to be Forty bucks, I'll take it. You know, it, it's small. It says Jacksonville on the side on the chalk. And I thought it might have been gunpowder, but I lifted that and it wet. Thank you, sir. I'll be back to see you. All right. Yeah, we're good. And I do negotiate my prices. All right. Sometimes a lot more than what you believe. All right. I have to. Yeah, I know what you mean. You can't. You got to start high and come down. You can't always. You can't be cheap. Go up. Love bigger. I know. They love it. That's what they come here for. I know. I know people like that. They won't buy if you don't come down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. They won't buy it even if it's a good deal. Yeah. Also, you too. Thanks. I do 20 on the set. I might as well buy them from. Howard Miller, 50 bucks.
be able to get more help to cover your care and costs. A United Healthcare dual complete plan can help you get more benefits than original Medicare. Whether you choose our online tools or over the phone support, United Healthcare will help you pay your options so you can choose a plan. spin the wheel, you must be at the dining hall by 2.45, 2.45. Once again, that's the free spin the wheel going on today at the dining hall at the end of row B. That's the end of the middle aisle where three lucky people will win the opportunity to spin the wheel for prizes and the pecan park bucks to spend with the vendors. Be sure and stop by Gifts by George, Military Memorabilia, located at N21. That's Gifts by George, Military Memorabilia, located at N21, where many of the items are made right here in America. Well, I made it back from the flea market. It was a pretty cold flea market trip. It's mid-January here in Georgia and, and South Georgia, and, and I went to North Florida flea markets. I went to Pecan Park and Ramona. Ramona, I went there first. Weren't much there, so I went to Pecan Park. I bought a little bit at both flea markets, but I didn't realize but until I left that my uh, camera had died, and I thought I was still videoing. So some of this stuff, is not. I didn't video me buying it, Anyhow, let's take a look and see what I bought at the flea market. Well, this is the stuff that I bought while I was at the flea market. And this gas can right here. I've sold a lot of these gas cans over the years. They usually don't bring a whole lot of money unless they're in real good condition or they got a name on them. But one just like this had sold on eBay for $35 plus shipping. This one's got both the caps on it and it's clean on the inside. The caps screw off easy. And one like this is pretty good. And I paid $5 for this can. So five into 35, not bad. This is a little cast iron kettle. I, this is probably a smelting pot maybe, but it looks pretty cool. I paid 15 for that. I'll probably try to get 30 or $40 for that. I bought this insert for a old Oldsmobile car. It's a steering wheel insert, the center of the steering wheel. I paid, I think, 15 for that, and it's worth about 60 or $70. I bought this uh, pin, this old vintage pin number nine reel. It's in real good working condition. It needs a new line on it. Paid $5 for that. It's worth about $30. 25 or 30 is what I'll get. And I paid $2 for this belt buckle. And it's uh, Naval Air Station Key West. It's worth about $25. Or I'm going to list it for about $25. Paid two for it. And I bought all these. Uh, I bought all these. These letter presses. A printing press for a printing press. Some of these are probably worth a little bit of money. I paid $20 for all of them. And I got the little drawer that comes with it. But some of these are pretty neat. There's an old telephone. Coors beer, a turkey, wild turkey. 
some other ones in here. There's a soccer ball. There's a pig, a, a pick, and a shovel. That's wild turkey whiskey. I may sell that one separate. Some of this whiskey stuff does pretty good. Marathon Oil Company. But I paid, there's a pair of shears. These are brass and wood, most of them. Some of them are not quite not brass, but most of them are brass. That's a thermometer. It says made in the USA right there. It's pretty cool. I think I can get about probably $60 to $80 for them. It's according to how much some of these ones sell separate. I'm going to pull out a couple of these and sell separate probably, and the rest of them I'm just going to put in a big lot, put $50 or $60 on them, and let them roll. And I bought this cast iron skillet. It's got the three legs on the bottom. It's a number 10. It's got the original lid. And they usually don't find them with the lid. Every now and then you can. It's got the gate mark on the lid and on the bottom of this skillet. This skillet's in real good condition. A lot of times they are bad pitted, these old ones. This is old. This is from the 1800s. It's got the gate mark on the bottom. And I did pay up for it. $40 is a lot. But I probably could sell that lid by itself for 30 or maybe $40. But if I sold them together on eBay, I would try to get $75 or $80 for them. And I bought these Christmas ornaments here. I don't know a lot about these Christmas ornaments. If somebody knows what they're called, leave it in the comments down below what they're called. I paid $10 for the whole box. I figured I would take a chance on them. That one's broke. That one's different. They look old. I can't tell if they're glass or plastic. They're real, real light and real thin. But if that one ain't nothing, like a little homemade one there. But if you know what kind of ornaments they are, let me know what you think they are, where I can try to look them up. And I bought this sign, paid $5 for the sign. That's a $200 sign right there. And this ink pen right here, I paid $3 for it. And I've bought some of these ink pens in the past. I don't know a lot about these. This is a fountain pen. If you just saw this pen, you wouldn't know what it was. But I noticed it had writing on it and I opened it up. And it's a fountain pen. And you can look at the numbers right there. 14 karat gold. It's got those numbers on it. It's made in Germany. It's got a name on it there. But I, I bought, uh, when the first time I bought one was out in the state sale, I paid like $10 for it just because it was nice. And I brought it home and got $85 or $90 for it. And I've started looking at them ever since. But this one, it's, one had two has sold just like this one, got the same name on it, the same numbers on the nib. And they both brought about $200. So that was a pretty good, pretty good buy. And I bought these two items here. I'm not sure what that emblem, what that uh, is right here, what that figure is. Somebody let me know in the comments what this is. I know it's a belt buckle, and it's got Bad Motor Company 1948 on the back. That must be who made it. But tell me what that is right there so I can look it up. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what it's worth. I paid 15 for that, paid five for this. They said this is a, I did find this online. It's a quarter panel button that went on a vehicle from the 50s the late 50s and somebody had one listed for 35 and they took a best offer so that's what i bought at the flea market it weren't too bad of a trip it was cold down there in florida i want to thank everybody for watching i'll see you on the next video